you're so beautiful You should just be yourself Hey you guys, it's Janai. Welcome back to my channel. So I've been using fresh aloe vera gel on my face for a little over a month. So I'm just here to, you know, share what I feel like it did for my skin as well as showing you guys how I put it on my face every day. So if you are interested, be sure to just stay tuned. And also if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that right now. Okay, so first of all, obviously I'm getting the fresh aloe vera gel from an aloe vera leaf which you can get well I get mine at ShopRite for depending on what ShopRite I go to it's like $149 or $199 so they're really cheap for one and so if you don't have ShopRite I'm honestly not really sure maybe you can check your, lo your local grocery store <laughs> so they're like two dollars or less okay so first of all what I feel like it did for me so what I was doing was I was putting it on well I still do I still do so I put it on my face every night um and I sleep with it and I wash it off in the morning. So I feel like it has made my face so much softer and so much smoother. And I feel like it's smoother because I've noticed that like, if I'll have like a pimple or two and then I'll put the aloe vera mask and like maybe two days later, they're gone. So I'm not sure how that would work like with acne, like a, like a lot of acne, but I, do, I did notice that when I had like a pimple or two, they would be gone like the next day or the day after. That. My face was really soft because um, aloe vera it is made to moisturize so I feel like it's really moisturizing for my skin like my skin is literally so small and I said small and smooth <laughs> soft and smooth like I just love touching it like I just I just be like I'd be like yo to my boyfriend I'd be like put my face <laughs> so I definitely feel like it's made improvements on my face um, as far as the way it feels I, this could be me I'm not sure but I also feel like my skin on my face feels like tighter almost or like more firm or I don't know that I don't know if that's because of the aloe vera but I just have been feeling like my face is almost like so like tight but like elastic like it's weird I really don't know how to explain it but I don't know so those are the few main things that it's done for me. I also read that aloe vera is supposed to like lighten dark spots or blemishes or imperfections. I personally haven't noticed that because um, I do still have a few dark spots like here and there. So I don't know how, like I, I really don't know, but I know everyone is different. So that may happen for you. And then some of the things that happen for me with it may not happen to you. So everybody's different. And you can also look up like what aloe vera does for you and stuff like that you can also put it in your hair I did do that a few times but I can't really tell you like the effects of it because I don't have any hair anymore and when I did do it in my hair my hair was like really short so I'm just not the right person to go to for aloe vera in your hair but as far as my skin I feel like it's only done good things to my skin there are no cons it doesn't make me break out or anything like that it's made my skin softer smoother and you yeah, all that Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I put the mask on. So what I do is I take the leaf. You can either extract the gel from the leaf and like maybe put it in a container for later because aloe vera leaves are plants. They will die, okay? I've had leaves that I didn't even get to finish because they died. So you want to make maybe extract the gel just so that you have the gel before it dies because all the gel will dry up with it. What I do is I cut about like maybe an inch of the leaf off. Like you see the spikes on the leaf, I cut like two spikes over and then I cut straight down. And then what I do after that is I cut the sides off, like where the spikes are. So I cut the sides off. Um, some people like cut the side, some people cut it up like as soon as they get it, but I cut it like as I use it. And then what I do is I cut it in half. So I cut it in half. So now I have like two halves obviously. And then I take one of the halves and then I slice it open through the gel. So I slice it open through the gel and then I take the two halves and then I literally just rub the gel on my face. Obviously you have two halves so when I had hair I would take the other half of that and then rub it all through my hair but you can just save the other half or you can use the whole thing. Honestly that's just how much I use. You can use as much as you want okay. So once I rub that all over my face I take the two little halves that I have and I like squeeze like the rest of the gel out just so I'm not wasting it and then so I squeeze all the gel out but I don't like I try to avoid like having those little like clear 
pieces of whatever it is that isn't gel just because it's annoying and it will just sit on your face or whatever so it's like a glob of like clear i don't even know what it is if you have an aloe if you've had an aloe vera leaf before you know what i'm talking about so i try to avoid those and then i take all the gel that i just squeezed squoze out and i just take that and then i rub the rest of that into my face as well and then i go to sleep with it and then i wake up and when i wash my face or take a shower or whatever i do i wash it off so when you sleep with it it will at least for me it always like feels like a piece of film over my face like it always it's not the most comfortable feeling also i don't really like the way aloe vera smells okay <laughs> and then on top of that it's like very obviously jelly like when you first put it on so like if you put it on and then lay down like it's gonna go all over your pillow so i usually put it on and then finish doing whatever i have to do and then it'll like dry into like this film and um yeah i go to sleep also sometimes it itches i don't really know what that itch is and maybe it's just me but sometimes it itches i feel so bare i don't have on like a necklace or earrings or anything but anyway so like i said i've been using it like for over a month now but honestly you can see results like within a few days like like i said like when i put it on my pimples like it'll go away in less than a week i also saw another youtuber do a video about um putting fresh aloe vera on her face for five days and she saw results i've just been doing it so long because one i like to stick to my routines and two obviously if it's working for me why would i stop so that's why i've been doing it for so long but honestly you can notice results in days the other youtuber i believe her name is takia b i'll include the link in the description box to her video but yeah so she noticed results in days i noticed results in days so that is my experience using fresh aloe vera gel i'm just gonna keep doing that every night like i've been doing and yeah so i hope that this video was helpful i definitely recommend it one because it's so cheap it's not one of these like expensive like 20 dollars products that you have to use and you don't even know if it's gonna work like no it's two dollars so if you can find if you have um fresh aloe vera leaves at any grocery store around you i think you should get them also if you're gonna buy just the gel like if you order like just um aloe vera gel you want to make sure that's 100 aloe vera gel because a lot of these aloe vera gels will have like all these other different chemicals in it and that's not what you want you want 100 aloe vera gel okay <laughs> So if you have any other questions about it, just ask below because I know I didn't really go over that much. I kind of just went over what I did and how I use it. So if you have any other questions, just comment and I'll of course answer you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that right now and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.